What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I am back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the top of the map in the sky blue color, playing as Odin. His name is the Rapple. Their partners today. In the green color, playing as Hades. His name is Demantis. In the purple color, playing as Zeus. His name is Matrius. And together, they make up UCA Lizards. Lizards. It's such a terrifying name because they are a terrifying team. Look at this team. Matrius, Rapple, and Demantis. I'm scared. I'm scared. Their opponents today. In the yellow color, playing as Gaia. His name is Evil. And something's just happened, ladies and gentlemen. Something, we're going to go through the players first. <laughs> so, but something has happened. In the in the yellow color, playing as Gaia, his name is Evil. In the blue color, playing as Kronos, his name is Odin King. And finally, in the red color, rounding out the team composition, playing as Poseidon, his name is Grass and Groom. And spawning in the middle of the map. Creating the most chaos you ever will see. A plenty vault. The map is king of the hill, ladies and gentlemen. However, it's king of the hill with ice. With ice. This is a ghost lake variant of king of the hill. If you aren't aware of this map, because you've never seen it before, and I don't fault you for not seeing this map before, but this map is incredibly wild i'm going to talk a little bit about what makes it wild but first the most important thing to know is that this timer over here if it hits zero your team wins but more importantly more importantly the thing that makes this map so wild is that the plenty vault is a plenty vault it i'm pretty sure it is a max plenty vault so if we take a quick look at um is it five? If we take a quick look at Matrius's resources, I, I don't think, wait, I can go like this. And take a look at Matrius's resources. Those resources are gonna be going up as if he has a plenty vault. Absolutely insane. He's gonna get the, like essentially, he gets an extra 10 villages while he has this plenty vault. So it's super important to be holding on to that one there uh, as this game continues. We are seeing Prometheus coming through incredibly fast here from Odin King. It looks like he's gone for a he's gone for a Kronos rush here, as, as it were, as we see the Plenty Vault getting ta taken back there by Grass and Groom. And Matrius is just going to send his Katoskopos back. You have to leave your Katoskopos here running around the uh, running around the Plenty Vault to keep it alive. There are these Hades shades that spawn uh, in this uh, in this location. There are these Hades Shades that spawn in this location, but you can literally just run, like have the Hades Shade chase you around here if you just stay on the, uh, around the edge of this Plenty Vault. And we are going to see Mattress tr trying to do that as he's continuing along, going to be eating his boar over here, doing everything. It's going to be a little bit late to the next age. So the Kronos will be able to hold this location for just a little bit. He will have the Oracle Scouts here to clean up those, uh, those Hades Shades and, and take good control of this. Uh, and effectively... It's all going to come down to holding that location. Now, we are seeing a, a random Heimdall here from Rappel. I'm not sure what that one's about. But we've got Athena coming through for Demantis. And potentially, we'll see a, a Hermes, I would assume, from, from Matrius. It looks like uh, Ares is actually coming through for uh, Grass and Groom here. As he's coming over onto the gold mine. Maybe we're going to be looking for a second town center. As the units are going to be moving forward here to grab the Plenty Vault. Evil, on the other hand, not sure what he's doing doing just yet has he advanced it looks like he's not advanced maybe he's tributing is he feeding i don't know we see the uh, the army coming through here gonna start taking these uh these fights against the hades shades potentially to to hold on to this one but no he's gonna be retreating away happy to take that one there i guess just give him a little bit more resources as more units are going to be uh coming in onto this position as uh wait hang on yeah, evil's not doing it. Evil's Ugh. evil's literally just tributing everything. He is feeding everything over.
to Odin King in this game as Odin King has been given the responsibility to carry this game on his back, advance as fast as he possibly can, get all of the resources out here. We see more manors coming down. We got to see more buildings coming down. Is Odin King spending his resources though? That is the question. He is not spending his resources quite as fast as you might hope here as this game is going to be going on uh, here as we see all the units just going to hang in the middle of the map and he's got six minutes and 50 seconds to hold on to this for dear life and we'll see if he's going to be able to do it or not as as the as the uh, uca team should be fairly aware of what is going on here uh as units from mattress are going to start coming out uh we've got units coming through for grassing it's completely wrong with the uh i was completely wrong with the the the, the comment about what was I saying? The comment about second town center here from Grass and Groom, but I'm surprised. I'm I'm surprised he didn't go for. Wait, you can cast. You can cast Gaia Forest. You can Gaia Forest the Plenty Vault. God, there is some nutty. There are some nutty strategies that can be used on this uh on this on this map here. Uh, <laughs> jeepers. All right. Well, this is going to come all down to if this, if this, uh, if this uh, rule Britannica team. I think I didn't introduce them properly. R B team, but I think they're all from England. I could be wrong, but that they are. It's going to all come down to if they can hold on to this plenty vault or not. As the old Sark is starting to come in for Rappel, we've got the uh, the mass term up through for Odin King. As the units, they need to stay on top of this king of the hill they on top of this plenty vault they can't leave this plenty vault at all here as the uh the centaur gonna uh, still continue to come in here odin king not only gets the plenty vault he might want to consider stopping production of uh his chronos so why is he making terma here he doesn't need terma just make uh just just make cairo ballister you're not looking to push anywhere cairo ballister are the hardest unit to push through in the game uh if you're just sitting on a on a location, because your opponents need to get in and push in, and if the, the Kaibals don't need to move forward, then they're so strong. But that's not happening here. We've got hoplites coming through for Grass and Groom, as well as uh, as the units here attempting to hold on. We are seeing Rappel going to be attempting to push through here. Still low on the production. We've got a second town center through for Demantis as as, uh, as UCA lizards are taking this game very very slowly. We're starting to see some some of those. Some of those Hippocon coming in onto this position here as more units coming through. And literally, Evil has not built another villager just yet. He's still sending resources through to uh, to Grass and Groom and Odin King. It's literally a 2v3, but with the economy of a player who has produced seven villagers or something. That's kind of it. I don't know. I don't I don't know what's it's crazy. I don't know what's happening here, but the <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I, I I can't explain this game. Here, have the have the stats on the left hand side. You guys work it out. There's 19 population for evil. The uh the Gaia forests are slowly getting uh getting produced on this plenty vault as the army is is attempting to hold here as best as they possibly can. There is a restoration here for Demantis at any point here. Three minutes 55 seconds remaining on this plenty vault as the army pulling uh pulling Odin King. And and uh, grass and groom away from this location. They're retreating back here to hold on to this one as best as they can. I'm gonna. I, I have to go out on a limb and say that these terma are gonna be the weakness that uh, Team RB here are gonna have to somehow overcome. I'm not sure how they're gonna be able to do it. He's microing nicely, staying back, not taking any fights. So too are UCA lizards. They've got three minutes. Imagine, imagine ceasefire here. If you go ceasefire, then then that cuts another minute off this because the army can just surround the plenty vault and there's no way for UCA lizards to grab that one off them there. But for some reason, Grass and Groom went Ares here instead of Hermes. So they don't have any access to that ceasefire. Three minutes remaining as the units are deciding to go at it right now. The Terma needs to be fighting and to be able to take down that Minotaur immediately. Her restoration will inevitably be used onto this position. There's the restoration here. As Matrius has stolen the King of the Hill. He's come in from behind, stolen the King of the Hill now. And Team 
RB have lost the King of the Hill. It goes back over to Odin King uh, and Team RB, but it's too little too late. The timer has been reset, and that will give UC Lizards more time to get a bigger, bigger armor. Utilize their three versus two advantage here in this game. Not only that, the Iron here are helping out a ton here on to Rapples units as they're still pushing forward here. The Terma trying their best to hold on, and now Odin King realizing he should be making the Cairo Ballaster here as Team UCA Lizards too strong, too smart here in this game, dealing with what was uh, this, the problem they were presented with in this game as we are going to be seeing Evil tapping out, Grass and Group tapping out, Odin King tapping out. They tried the sneaky cheese win here in the in a clan tournament, a serious clan tournament here. They go for the cheeky cheese win. Now, just to be perfectly honest here, King of the Hill has multiple different spawns. This spawn was not the spawn which RB wanted in the slightest. There's, a, I, I want to go in, actually, I want to go in and show you guys, I don't do this very often, I want to go in and show you guys before we finish the different spawns that could have potentially happened here on, uh, on, what's it called, on King of the Hill. And you will see the craziness that is potentially possible here on this map. Where, where is King of the Hill? I, I'm blind. I'm literally blind. I'm not figuratively blind. I'm literally blind. There it is. Okay, so spawn number one. We might have to see a couple of these. This is the spawn we saw. Spawn number two. If we come in and have another look. Mediterranean spawn is possible here as well. Spawn number three that is possible here. This spawn. This is the spawn which Team RB wanted. With this spawn... They would be able to throw down Guy Lush in the middle of the map. They would be able to throw down buildings in the middle of the map. And they would be able to control this situation so much easier. But instead, they decided to stick with that Ghost Lake variant and go for something completely different. Now, teams do have one veto each in this tournament. I'm not sure if they used it or not and, and tried to roll the dice again. But... They could have vetoed there and gone for something else. But in the end, you say Lizards, too smart, too strong. Get the dub. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.